Good day, welcome to Endurance Room. I thought we could take a look at the Molly 2 butt pack today. It's an awesome piece of military surplus gear. You can pick these up on the surplus market for very little. I think I got this one for about five bucks. You can wear it around your hips, you can wear it slung over your shoulder, and there is a great deal of storage available on these things. You can also add it onto your backpacks, your rucksacks, for extra storage. If you need extra room in your pack for, say, food or extra tools, traps, what have you, it's very easy to add these in. They're super lightweight, they're super durable, and let you hold a surprising amount of gear. All right guys, here we have it. Mine is in Woodland Camo. You can find these in ACU and I think Coyote, but Woodland Camo is pretty much universally accepted as the coolest camo ever. So if you can find one in Woodland, I recommend going with that. It's got two cinch straps around the outside of the pack that you can use for lashing extra gear. You can use these for retaining a tarp, you know, a ground sheet, what have you. We've got two belt loops that you could use for securing the pack to an LBE setup, uh, your web gear. Or you can use these to secure the pack to say the outside of your Alice pack for extra storage. That's what I typically do with it. and you can store the belt on the inside of this pocket quite easily. So on the inside of the pack, there's quite a bit of room. I don't have a ton in here today. Just steel water bottle. Uh, my shelter kit with my ridge line and tent stakes. I've got a military poncho that I was planning on using as a ground sheet today if I needed it. It's my navigation and fire kit, my saw, cordage, and the plush palaka. So right here with what's in the bag and you know, the little bit of stuff that I've got in my pockets, I've got a 10C kit. This is basically my EDC. Every time I go out, I try to have at least the five Cs, if not the 10 Cs. And with that package, it's so lightweight and easy to transport. There's no sense in not taking it. Say you're out in the woods a little bit longer than you planned on. The sun went down and it was dark. Visibility was low. It's very easy to get turned around in the woods after the sun goes down. And having a compass would let you, you know, avoid ending up in a rather precarious situation. You can wear the bag as a butt pack. You can wear it around front as a fanny bag. This will let you carry your full rucksack and then use the butt pack as you know your go-to bag for your tools for things you need on the go like your compass, your headlamp, your fire kit, and still move around quite easily. My preferred method of carrying with the bag is typically over my shoulder as so. This lets me move around through the woods quite easily. I don't have any restrictions around my waist and if I need my gear it's very easy to just pull it around front and access the pack. Well there you have it, the Molly 2 butt pack. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you've got any questions just drop me a comment. Please hit like and subscribe to help support the channel. Thanks a lot guys, take care.